Just visit the new calgaryherald.com with more of everything worth knowing. I'm assembling a fuel cell. I'm painting the anode component, which we made into a slurry, onto the electrolyte. This lab is at the hub of a new national fuel cell research network. A fuel cell is an, is an energy conversion device. It takes fuel and air and without ever allowing the two of them to meet, produces electricity. And you think you've got a good anode. Unlike batteries, fuel cells could be the future of clean one, energy technologies. Where it plays a difference uh, than, say, just burning the fuel in a furnace or using an internal combustion engine to burn the fuel is that it's so much higher efficiency. So proportionately, for the fuel that's going in, there's less carbon dioxide being emitted because of the efficiency aspect. Borglum sees a day where houses are powered and warmed by fuel cells or where entire communities are powered by regional fuel cell substations. We have been absolutely world leaders in fuel cells in general. The University of Calgary along with 60 researchers and scientists from across Canada will work to bring the cost down and make fuel cells more reliable for commercial use. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.